There are many systems in our body designed to maintain homeostasis. This video we're going to focus on the nervous system. Nervous system can be found throughout your whole body, starting with your brain, then through the spinal cord, and then through the rest of your body. Your head portion is the central nervous system, and your body is the peripheral nervous system. The purpose of the nervous system is for you to do things. For example, like things that you can control, like thinking, moving, raising your hand, standing up, sitting down, jump. And then there are things that does by itself, like your heartbeat, breathing, digesting. In your body, you have many types of cells. Starting with stem cell, the cell will e eventually differentiate into different types of cell. For example, the heart cells or cells of the nervous systems or immune system cells. In your body, the cells is not just like the typical animal cell where it's just a circle and the nucleus. That's just a standard model of a cell for we to study the, what a cell is and the organelles and such. But in actuality, cells come in different types and size and functions. There's muscle cells, which has a lot of mitochondria. There's your nerve cells. There's your blood cells and all types of cells. So this is your nerve cells and this is what it's look like and a nerve cells in your body is called a neuron. Here we have two neurons connected to each other at one end. Okay, let's go over the anatomy of a neuron. First you have the dendrite. The dendrite is where all the information are being received. It's kind of like a spider web. Next you have the cell body. So this neuron, this nerve cell is actually one whole cell. So it consists of just like a regular cell. It has a cell body, the nucleus, and such. But it also has extra stuff. For example, the dendrites. Next, when the information is received by the dendrite, the information is then sent along this really long chain called the axon. And then once the message is relayed to the end of the axon, it will be sent to the dendrite of the next neuron. And then it repeats. Neuron is Latin for nerve. So can you guess what neurobiology is? I said neurobiology? Oh, my bad. I meant neurology. Okay, so let's assume you don't know what neurology is. Can you tell me what biology means? Yes. So bio is life and then logy is a study of. So biology is the study of life. Then what is neurology? Correct. Neurology is the study of the nerve. So a neurologist is a person who study about nerves. Okay, so what do you think, what about neurotransmitter? Correct. Neurotransmitter is nerve signal. And then we have a neurosurgeon is a surgeon who works on the brain. So now, hopefully, you are the master of the word neuro. And whenever you see that word, you have no problem with it, right? Alright, now let's just jump to a side story, which is going to do a quick um, salary range. Basically, I'm just going to give you a preview of s certain jobs and then what the salary range would be going all the way up to a neurosurgeon. So you can see how much a neurosurgeon make. So for example, if you were to make minimum wage or up to $12, so since minimum wage is around 7 or 8 to $12, then you make $24,000 a year. $24,000 a year is not that much. Well, the good news is it requires very little education. For, so, for example, like someone who works at a fast food restaurant or a cashier. or Just those little um, regular small job. It's just enough to get by. Okay, so with $24,000 a year, you could possibly, um, in terms of transportation, you get something, a car kind of like this. And then in terms of where you stay, you probably get like a small apartment with not that much stuff, you know. And then in terms of clothes, you'll get these types of clothes from this company. And that right there is your entertainment. Good. So, yeah, focus on education is good. You want to make more money because you want better stuff, right? You don't want these stuff. Eh, you can't get it, but... Let's try better. 
Okay, so if you get a little education more, for example, let's say it was become a teacher, you make around starting with thirty five thousand to fifty thousand dollar a year. That's about an average lifestyle. So which equivalent to fourteen to twenty five dollars an hour. So the requirement to be a teacher is you need to go to college, get a four year degree, your bachelor, and then spend two more years to get your teaching credential on the subject you want to teach. And you can, for transportation, end up with uh, some car like this, which is the uh, kind of new or red, doesn't matter. Uh, but it's a pretty good car compared to the other one, right? And then in terms of place to stay, you, you live a typical average life, you know, average American life with a house, nice house, and enough to get by, you know. You know once in a while, you might have problem with money here and there, but your life is pretty much average. So if you're in a thirty five to $50,000 range, that's average right there. And then in terms of clothes, you can get these types of clothes. And for entertainment, you can get like, you know, family fun, small system here and there, TV. So it's pretty much an average life. Okay, so next up, let's take a look at what a pharmacist or someone who makes more money than a teacher. And then that would be like an accountant or if you're working in the accountant, finance, or if you're teachers who work for a long time, then you can make equivalent up to a pharmacist, which is starting at 60000 and then can go up to 100000